up YouTube, Primo Fab here, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video, we're going to be breaking down the blog post that they released for the new season, um, alongside the gameplay trailer that's released today, and I'm going to be breaking everything down, going over everything, zombies, outbreak, so I'm not going to, I'm going to skip all the multiplayer stuff, I'm just going to go right to zombies. And also, before we end, I'm also going to go over the roadmap that they released over on Twitter. So let's begin. Um, first... One of the new operators coming is Samantha Maxis. In season, I don't know if that means like later in the season or it's like later in the battle pass or whatever. If it's in the battle power of the battle pass, I hope it's one of the first skins that we get because I don't I don't really like to progress the battle pass, but if I have to, I will obviously. But I would like it to be one of the first skins we get for the first time in Black Ops history. Samantha Maxis will be playable operator, not just in zombies. Following her rescue from the Meg Group of Fire BC. Maxis prepares to join Wreck Room on the front lines to fight off outbreaks throughout the Royal Mountains. Of course, he's also not afraid to join NATO's fight against the Warsaw Pack and multiplayer or drop from Finance Group Island. I don't know about you guys, but ever since this the game started and we knew Samantha Max was here, all I've ever wanted was her to be an operator. So now it looks like we're getting it in Season 2, her as an operator. Can't wait to go back to some of the old maps and hear some voice lines, that they do even have voice lines for old maps. But us just getting her as a playable character... As a, as an operator, I love. I've been waiting for it, and I'm glad we're getting it. So here, everything at outbreak. I've got to scroll up. Um, zombies expands an outbreak. New zombie experience outbreak launch week. So this is coming right at launch. The next chapter of the third ether story takes the agents of Requiem deep into the heart of Russia, where they'll fight to survive the greatest challenges yet. Welcome to outbreak and a tiny new large scale zombies experience unlike any other. So obviously the leaks are true. Outbreak is coming. As Requiem continues to fall behind in the arms race against a mega group. Various regions in the Ural Mountains have recently become Dark Ether Outbreak sites, with new opportunities to reach the Dark Ether and advance Reckham's agenda. It's up to you and the three follow agents to complete the deadly experience, but a few have survived. So, you and three other so back score players, like we knew, like every other zombies game. Continuing the Dark Ether story, Outbreak takes place across massive play space throughout the Ural Mountains, packed with new enemies, team objective, player rewards, and entitles come on foot and vehicles or jump by jump pads. Whether it's hunting down elite enemies using a satellite tracker, Escorting a rover that detects the metro portals or holding out against zombies in a confined dark ether zone, agents of record would need to complete these investigations before they can exit or risk entering a dark ether portal to a new region for even more rewards. In the coming days, expect more information on large scale zombie experience from Triarch, as well as several guides breaking down outbreak for the basic tips on specific objectives. So, looks like we got some objectives here. Um, satellite tracker to uh, hunt down elite enemies. So, that's probably one of the, all of these are probably like one of the objectives we have to do. Um, that's where we row over the text virtual portals and hold out into the zone. So it looks like we're going to have to do these objectives before we could either exfil or go into another region. Which is pretty cool. So we're fine in the one area and then we have to complete the objectives on that uh, area to move on to the next. And also we are getting some more information soon from track before and launch on uh, some new information and everything like that. And when that comes out, I'll also upload a video and break all that down. Uh, new field upgrade, Frenzied Guard. Add an additional layer of strategy to your zombies loadout with Frenzy Guard, a brand new field upgrade, perfect to, uh, for agents who love to be um, the center of attention. Upon activation, all enemies will immediately target the Frenzy Guard user for a brief period, during which time only armor will take damage. This could be a game changer when falling operators surrounded by the undead masses as they return their attention away from those in peril towards the armored savior. Um, use Ether Crystals to upgrade Frenzy Guard with powerful modifiers such as having to repel all, all uh, armor upon activation, increasing its duration to 15 seconds, and email slowing enemies down to walk speed. So it's like a new protecting thing. So if you're trapped at a corner and you're getting hit, activate it, and then they'll move away from you and also will feel your armor, which is pretty cool. New Ammo Mars Shattered Blast. Bring, ready to bring the boom? The Pack-A-Punch Machine Elmo Pop will now include the Shattered Blast Ammo Mod, which will make all bullets deal explosive damage. Each bullet also has a chance to explode, dealing additional explosive damage and destroying an impact armor. Attempt to help destroy heavy zombies is protect by because of plenty of explosive upgrades through the skill menu, including having all explosive deal damage to nearby enemies, knock down normal enemies, or double the size from even bigger bang. So it looks like the it's make this um ammo mine basically makes the gun better. Um two new skill tiers. So with the help of two new ethereum crystals or five the flaws ethereum crystals, H Freck will be upgrade their skill, all the skills to four and five. So each perk is getting two more um, skier tiers, which with those, what those are, we don't know. Prepare to chase those high rounds and threshold round based zombies to complete multiple outbreak investigations in a single run to get a chance to earn these new crystals. 
which will further improve your weapon classes, field upgrades, perks, and ammo mods. These meta changing upgrades are powerful enough to serve the owner's fishing on the launch to his attention. So, let's start getting some more information before it comes out. Um, so yeah, this is everything that is around that's zombies on their blog post. Um, uh, so let's get over to the roadmap here over on Twitter. Um, Call of Duty Season War Season 2 roadmap. Um, obviously, some Warzone stuff and multiplayer stuff over here, but I'm going to focus on this side. Uh, obviously, we got the new outbreak mode. We got challenge events for, um, looks like the new outbreak mode and Warzone, so you can probably do them either or. Also, get some new operators, which the only one obviously I care about is Samantha Maxis. Um, it says these two are in season, but I don't, I don't know if like they're all in season, just two of them are, but they said Maxis is in season, so we'll see. Obviously, new siege levels, obviously, new battle pass, and some new weapons here. We got a, a Pharah 83, LC 10, a machete, a shovel. Crossbow and looks like maybe a new sniper and a new reactive blueprint. So maybe a new looks like a new camo, maybe a reactive camo um, on the gun and maybe some new tattoos and everything like that. Um, but this is gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you guys didn't enjoy, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe down below, put in the comment section below. What do you think of season two? What are you excited for about Outbreak or you know Samantha Max is coming as an operator? Um, and as more information comes out, I will also be making videos on those to keep you guys updated. And so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.